Kind of had a little bite in there. Not sure what that was about. Okay, we got two bites now. We are on the solid second slot. That's where we were. These actually don't strip as good. And we're going to pick up where we left off with testing these. Now, I got a lot of comments in the last video talking about these, and they say they really, really like how they cut MC. Uh, I really like how these cut MC, and these can also cut MC. So just so we're clear, these are wire strippers. Uh, cutting MC would be a rough end stage. You shouldn't have to cut MC. The MC should already be terminated in your box with the connector. But I'm going to entertain you guys and possibly entertain myself. We're going to go ahead and cut some MC with these. And I actually have not just 12.2 MC. We have 12.3 MC. So let's see how these cut. Now, we do have to push these open more. Extend these out with our hand here to get them that big. And there is not really strain, but uncomfortableness, I guess, opening them that wide on my hand. Let's see how good these actually cut. Let's see. Okay, so it's almost like there's nothing there. They just cut like butter. And that is really impressive. But to the first point that I made, you know, they make shears twice as big as this for cutting MC. I've seen a lot of electricians carry them before the rabbit ears. I don't think I'm going to be using my strippers while I'm roughing in. But let's just see how the clines do because this is how we've done it for years before those ever came along. Let's see how they cut. And that's one hand here. So these still cut with one hand. And these cut number four with one hand. And they do just fine. Now the only thing I can think of why you'd want these for rough is if you were going to compare these to an actual multiplier. Remember these are called strippers. They're not called multi anything. These are called multi. So let's look at the multi capabilities of these here in a second. Let's see what these can do, because this is my weapon of choice. A lot of people like these. I really like these. This is my third pair of these. So, and not by choice. <laughs> Unfortunate events. You know what? <laughs> these actually cut better than these do. So that is something special. No, oh, maybe I got lucky. Uh, they cut about the same as these, and this is four conductor cable there. Just to show you, we'll go ahead and split this open. So I just twist it out. There we go. So you can see we're getting number 12 red, black, green, and white there. So definitely, I wouldn't say it's an easy task to cut things like this that easy. So there is some merit to what everyone's saying about these cutting. MC really nicely, I will note these don't actually say must cut copper on them. So they are designed to cut many things. These are going to say on here cut copper only somewhere. Actually, it does not say it on this one. Let's see if we can find it here. Doesn't say it on there. Doesn't say it on these. These are Klein 2000s, so these are rated. Now, these are stamped. These are going to say cut copper only right there, cut copper. Or aluminum, of course. The Milwaukee's are not going to say cut copper because they are also forged. Let's see how the Milwaukee do cutting this. 
you know, actually pretty decent for 20 bucks. This is what I would recommend an apprentice get. If you're a professional, you want to spend $60 on a pair of strippers, by all means. These are actually damn impressive. So, after doing, you know, all the testing, because we know they're going to strip. I'm not going to strip wire on camera. Uh, I could if you wanted me to, but I, I don't think you guys want me to. Uh, I feel like if I don't, someone's going to comment. So, let's do that. These grab nicely, by the way, as you can see. And we're going to go for the number 12 slot, which is right here. And you just push with your thumb. And you can see, even though I crimped the insulation on there, uh, they still strip really nicely. Do it again. Just, I don't even have to push with my thumb, actually. They just strip really nicely. Let's go to the Klein. I already know the Klein are not as good. They're just not. Uh, case in point there. There we go. Solid there. Number 12. Number 14 here for Stranded. You'll note these don't specify whether it's solid or stranded. They just work. Stranded or solid. They're just ready. They are DTF, baby. That's the Crocs there. Uh, that's 14 to 12 there, solid. You can see it's just not as good. We'll go back to the Crocs here. We'll strip a little bit more off. And you can see they just cut all the way through. And they strip nicely off. Let's give us number 10 here. Let's get the Milwaukee's. They got that gimmicky kind of 10, 12, depending on whether you got solid or stranded. Uh, see how they're rocking these up here, right there. Here we go. Don't strip as good as the Crocs, but they do strip it. Uh, pushing here with my thumb as you're pushing leverage definitely is not comfortable right there. I think I might grind that off if this was mine. I would break that off. Actually, I probably will break that off because... Where my thumb sits, I'm pushing on this, and that's something you got to be aware of. So, if you're not going to push with your thumb like this, like a professional, and maybe you're doing something hot or whatever you're doing, and you're trying to just yuck it away, you're forced to put your thumb here when you really have your leverage here. So, uncomfortable to push this here. Easy to accidentally latch. We saw that in the last video. And we're doing this all in one take, so you can appreciate the, uh, the no BS, no cuts. Just spending my time out here showing you guys what these tools can do. Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Okay, see this? I'm going to show you something here. This is an essential requirement. You can just flip these around. They flip really nicely. These look pretty good. The The flare out helps you switch them pretty easily one handed. These of course can flip really easily. Sometimes I just flip them for fun while you're waiting. These flip when they're open. They have a heavy spring and they flip but not as easily you'll notice. They, they don't. You can flip them around like this but you gotta you gotta be able to flip them 
like that. So they flip. Four out of five on flipping. Close them when they flip nice. These don't have too much spring. They flip pretty easily actually. Not as easy as the kind, but they are spring loaded. Seem to have locked them. There we go. Okay, back to what we're doing. So that's your 12 there. Let's go to these. These are your 12 and 14 here. And they strip like, like the Crocs do, man. Really, really nice smooth action just like that you can see where I've almost got nothing to grab and they still continue to strip all that off really good fit no problems we're gonna go back to the Knipex here here comes the Knipex again uh, 12 stranded okay right there Kind of had a little bite in there. I'm not sure what that was about. Okay, we got two bites now. We are on the solid second slot. That's where we were. These actually don't strip as good. So you saw you saw me kind of struggle with that. I'm gonna do it again. Solid right there. I gotta get a little twist and pull. You see the whole time we're scraping that edge right there. As you can see where it's shiny right there. And by the way, my uh, camera started a new video file, so I didn't pause it. I will have to edit this probably. Okay, uh, we're gonna go to the 12 right there. Slides right off, man. Like butter, baby. It's because they're strippers. They're made for that. They don't do anything else special. They're not extra heavy. And they don't cost 60 bucks. I really like the way the Milwaukee stripped. Let's go ahead and try this. You can see here we were solid right there. God almighty, man. These things strip very nice. I think this is going to be... My new favorite here, if you want to talk just strippers. And then of course, these are just, I mean, just absolutely smooth. Some of the best that I've ever felt. How do they make up joints? When you got a bunch of wire here and you're really tightening on the wire and I'm squeezing very hard here, completely closing down. You can see we really got nice little kind of kind of hear it there. Not too bad. I don't know if you notice this, but these things here really, really tear up the wire. Like this. I'm just gonna squeeze and let go. They they really leave hard edges like a cheese grater. Um you're making a bunch of joints with these, which I wouldn't recommend you do. They're not strong enough here. But they are really nice multi pliers. Uh, they cut like butter. So I see why you guys like them. But strippers, these are not. These are more of a multi tool. They don't strip as good as the Milwaukee's. I thought I'd never say that in my life. Uh, but I'm a Milwaukee stripper convert right now. So I called the guy that we kind of. We didn't really sponsor him, but we gave him a bunch of tools and kind of somewhat employed him to help us out. I vetted him before I recommended him to my buddy's electrical company. And obviously he passed the test, so we gave him a bunch of tools and stuff, had him on the channel bending conduit. He bought these, and the first thing I said when I saw him was, man, those things don't open enough. And he was like, yeah, you're right, but... 
they're popular and I want to keep them just because everybody likes them. So I called him this morning and I said, hey, how's the Knipex going? Just curious. And he said, you know, I really don't use them anymore. Um, they're not very good for making up joints. He said they strip really nice, they cut really nice, but that's where more or less the honeymoon wears off on these. You want to justify your purpose or your purchases for making, you know, large purchases. You want to justify your tool. Everyone wants to defend their tool. At 60 bucks, uh, it's pretty steep. I actually told him, actually, he kind of took the words out of my mouth. He said, I've been trying out the Milwaukee's. And then I more or less finished his sentence. I was like, did you get the seven and ones or the six and ones? Because these are the six and ones. And he said, no, man, I got the thinner nose ones. And I said, yeah, I was going to say, that's that's the ones that I'm actually going to start recommending now. And he was like, I thought you didn't like Milwaukee. And I was like, well, you know, it's not that I didn't like them. I just hadn't found a tool that I liked from their hand tools. And I said, you know, I feel like these will probably replace your needle nose and be really good strippers. And he was like, man, you're completely right. These do replace your needle nose, and they do make good strippers. And after stripping with these, we're going to make another cut here. After stripping with these, uh, I am thoroughly impressed with this. The one thing that I do not like on these that I would recommend everybody do would be get rid of this hook here. I don't think we need it. I'm actually going to bust mine off right now. Might not be able to. It's pretty sharp here, just so you know. I might have to grind it off. Uh, when you're pushing here, repetitive motions, because that's pretty much what the name of the game for being an electrician is, is going to be the same damn motion for the rest of your life. Uh, man, just so freaking smooth. Holy crap. Can you see that? Look at this. Make sure I get these right for the video. That's the 12 solid. We're all the way down, cut. They're just not, guys. There we go, had to roll it. We got a mark on our wire there. What does that mark do? Well, probably nothing, but if you get it deep enough, that'll be a weak spot. So we could probably break this on that weak spot. That's exactly where it broke. So we were bending up here. It broke there. Just that little smallest score of wire will start that weak spot. I'm going to roll this, pull, give a little shake. Acts like it cuts too deep. I'm actually going to try the stranded size, which is down here, 10 to 12. You can see that it's too big. We go the next size up. That should be it. I'm going to roll it a couple of times and cheat and try to pull it off. That's a little bit smoother, but it still leaves those marks there. I know you guys can see that. We're going to switch to our clients here to the number 12. Pull that right off, no problem. We're going to switch to our racket. Look at this, we're getting, we're getting less and less leverage. We're going to switch to our 12 here. You can see right there, it does not matter whether it's solid or stranded for these. This is why I love them. Clamp down, pull off, done. And I'm going to strip these with this much wire left. With the Milwaukee's. And then we're going to get out of here. Right there. Solid. Here it clip. Your little twist and pull. Slides right off, man. Uh, the proof is in the pudding. For me, my brand new Knipex did not strip as good as my $20 Milwaukee's, as my $40 Klein multi-tool that actually makes up a joint and can be used as a hammer. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, 
because I had them on the scene. These do just fine stripping too. With pretty much no damage. I don't know if you can see that on there. We'll cut this here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to chop these here with the 12 to 14 here, all the way down just like that. That's all we're going to do. We're going to see if we can pull these off. They're not, it's not willing to go. We're going to leave that curve here. I'm going to get the Milwaukee, so we're going to put it here on the other side of the curve. And we're going to strip this right off, probably. Yep. And you're going to see the hard line that I'm talking about. Hear it? I actually don't see it. There it is right there. I couldn't see it on camera, but it's there. So there you go. There's my, uh, there's your video. I feel like you guys still aren't going to be satisfied with it. Uh, I'm still kind of in disbelief that they did that bad because they cut really nice. So we're going to do it again. These locked again, by the way, by themselves. So keep aware of that. 12, 14 right there, 14 stranded, 12 solid. Cut, we're fully closed here. And we're going to pull. Uh, yep. There you go, slides right off, no digging. What I'm going to do, I'm going, you can see where this wire is right here at the end. Right there. I'm going to pull this forward with my bare fingers like this. We're going to look at the back of this. You can see the wire is gone. And we're going to examine this here and you can see my nail does not get caught at all. No catch. Then I'm going to take the Crocs. We're going to do the same thing. No stranded, no copper requirement, just ready to go. We're going to slide that right off. We're going to cut this flush. We're going to see that that's flush. I'm going to pull it by hand backwards. We're going to see if we have any catch. We have a slight little, just a little bit there from the Crocs. We're going to take these here, 14 through 12, right there, solid up here, number 12. We are ready to pull. You can see it's just not as smooth. I don't think we, yeah, we did catch it that time. Listen, right there, there's the line. There you go. Can't argue with that. They just don't strip as good. Yet they're called wire strippers. I know you guys like them. Uh, I think the Milwaukee's are better. And I never thought I'd say that. But the Milwaukee's just strip, man. They're so good. Look at this little amount of wire here. Go try this out on your job site. Solid. Go one more up right there. Solid number 12. You can hear it. Nice crunch. Slides right off, dude. You can't beat these. I think they're better than the Crocs. The only reason why they're not better than the Crocs is because the Crocs doesn't care whether you are solid or stranded. They are ready to cut no matter what. Don't ask me how they did it. They're like magic. Um, there you go. We will see you guys in the next one.